Good morning, good morning, and happy Tuesday to you. This week is just blowing by already. I was away over the weekend uh, for the long weekend from uh, Wednesday until Sunday night. And when I came back, I was just so excited to get going on things that I had learned while I was away. Um, so yesterday was nonstop. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Tuesday already. It's hard to believe. I pray that you are doing well wherever you are located. Um, it's just going to be a beautiful day here, and I'm excited to share God's word with you today. So today's verse, the be in the blessed method, the Bible verse, is John 12, verses 24 and 25, and it says, Very truly I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. The Owl and the Blessed Method is listening for God's voice and praying, so please pray with me. Heavenly Father, help us to understand the depth of what it means to surrender our lives to you, which is our whole theme for this month. Give us the courage to let go of our selfish desires and our ambitions and trust that as we die to ourselves, we are going to form new life and fruitfulness. And may we value eternal things above simple pleasures. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, the E, exploring the history and the meaning. So Jesus spoke these words shortly before his crucifixion, and he was trying to prepare his disciples for his death and the sacrificial nature of following him. So he uses this metaphor of a seed, a tiny seed, to illustrate the principle of sacrifice leading to multiplication. This passage emphasizes the nature of the Christian life. The true life and fruitfulness come through dying to self. So the S is the first S is studying the key words. So the kernel of wheat dies talk, is talking about sacrifice and surrender. Produces many seeds represents fruitfulness and multiplication of those seeds. Loses their life, loves their life, will lose it. It warns against being self-centered and holding on to your worldly life. So the last S is summarizing and sharing. So these, these words of Jesus really get to the heart of what it means to live with the surrendered hearts. It, it challenges us so much, but it's one that is filled with hope and promise. When Jesus talks about a kernel of, fruit, of wheat falling to the ground and dying, he's giving us a beautiful picture of surrender. Think about it. That little seed has to go, let go of everything everything to become something new and fruitful. And it's not an easy process, but it's one that is so wonderful. It's, it's the only way for the seed to really fulfill its purpose. And in the same way, Jesus is inviting us to surrender our lives to him. Now, that doesn't mean that we have to go looking for suffering or literally dying. What it does mean to let go of our self-centered desires, um, our need for control, our worldly ambitions, all these things that make up our life. It's like Jesus is saying, if you try to hold on too tightly, you're going to end up losing what really matters. But if you're willing to loosen your grip, to surrender your heart to me, you'll find a life that's richer and more fulfilling than you could have ever imagined. That kind of surrender isn't a one-time thing. It is a daily choice. Lord, not my will, but yours. It's choosing to trust God's plan, even when it doesn't make sense to us. It's being willing to let go of our own ideas of success, of happiness, and embrace God's definition of a life well-lived. And here's the beautiful part. So when we surrender our hearts to God, he doesn't leave us empty-handed. Just like that little seed that dies produces many more seeds, our surrender leads to fruitfulness. We might see it in the lives that we touch, the love that we share, or the ways that God uses us to bring his kingdom on earth. 
Living with a surrendered heart means we value eternal things more than temporary pleasures. It means we're willing to look a little odd to the world because we're living for a different kingdom. It means that we trust God's plan for our lives is better than anything we could come up with on our own. So I want you to ask yourself today, what area of your life are you, are you still holding on to too tightly? What might God be asking you to surrender? It might be a relationship or a dream or a fear or a habit. Whatever it is, let's bring it before God and ask for the courage to let it go, trusting that as, as we do, he'll bring forth new life and fruitfulness. You got to remember that God is not a taker. He's a giver. And when we surrender our hearts to him, he is going to give us something far greater in return. It's, it's going to be a life filled with purpose and joy and eternal significance. I want to share with you a uh, video that I shared on my Instagram this morning. Let me pull it up here and see if I can share my screen to show you this. Let's see here. Sorry, I should have had this ready. Share screen. Yep, I think it's going to work. So hopefully you can see this. There you go. And I'm going to, I'm going to, um, hopefully you can see that. Do you see the difference? Okay. So there's a seed tree grew, got blown away. But see what sprouted many more trees, many more trees. Sometimes we lose things and we don't understand the meaning for it. But there's that tree that got blown away by the wind. The man was sad. And then those seeds sprouted many, many more seeds. That's what I want you to think about this morning as you're, as you're planning your day. Always remember this message. It's something, like I said, every single day, you, we need to renew this every single day. All right. Okay. So the three Bible cross references for today to dig a little deeper are Galatians 2.20, Matthew 16.25, Philippians 1.21. Thank you so much for sharing with me this morning. I greatly appreciate it. That there's something that you need to let go of. I pray that you do. Just post in the comments that you're ready to let go. You're ready to let go and let God take over. All right. If you're watching this on replay, type in replay so we know that you saw it and make sure you like the video. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a very, very blessed day. Bye-bye.